Good morrow, Traveler! Dragon's Dogma 2 is a brand new fantasy action RPG where you play as the Arisen, a character chosen by fate to fight back the evils that plague the land and reclaim your stolen heart. We're about to jump into this fantastical world and go on some adventures, probably fight some big monsters, and, uh, I don't know, maybe make some friends along the way. Presented by Dragon's Dogma 2, available now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. Hello there, I'm Max Scoville, and in case you missed it, Dragon's Dogma 2 is available right now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. And we're about to jump into it and just go on some crazy adventures. Uh, if you are completely unfamiliar with Dragon's Dogma, there's a fantastic video voiced by Ian McShane of, uh, I don't know, Deadwood and Hot Rod fame, uh, who gives you kind of a nice primer on this, you know, this, this whole realm, this world, the lore, the systems, the many things going on in here. Uh, I'm about eight hours into this game. Uh, a lot of that time was spent in the phenomenal character creator, uh, where I made my character Danzig, who you see here, chilling on a bench in Vernworth. Uh, this is very early in the game. This is a huge game. There's tons and tons of stuff to explore and check out. And uh, if you're completely wary of spoilers, I, I, I don't think you're going to run into anything right now watching me play this game. Uh, you, you may uh, be spoiled on exactly how bad I am at fighting monsters. But uh, we're going to go do some, do some kind of fun side quests and adventures. Uh, this, is, this is kind of the first big settlement you check out. This is a big, huge open world game. I think it's, I think it's like four times the size of the first game, which was pretty big to begin with. Uh, this is, yeah, Vernworth. It's a nice, nice little town. Uh, it is just a very small portion of this, of this world. Uh, I, as you can see, I have very little of the map uncovered. These two gold markers right here are a couple of little, uh, little side quests I'm on right now that I figure we could go check some of those out. Uh, luckily, I'm not going to be traveling alone here. I've got a whole crew with me. Uh, these are my pawns. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, Dragon's Dogma's whole sort of system is you have NPC companions uh, who are AI powered. Uh, they're not; those aren't those aren't exactly other players, but you are effectively borrowing other people's party members from parallel dimensions and you know bringing them into your game. Um, my character Robin up there, my archer, she uh, periodically you know goes into other people's games and comes back with. Uh, you know, cool, uh, cool tips and secrets, and sometimes I don't know, like they give her like a treat, like a, a piece of fish or an apple or something. Uh, meanwhile, Bob and Angel here are from uh, somebody else's else's game. Uh, I'm about to do something really stupid, uh, which is to go out after dark. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a uh, terrifying world. This is, I think, as far as like as far as games where you can go out at night and uh, you know it's scarier in the dark. This is. This is up there. This is really... We're probably going to run into something, you know, menacing. Okay. What's happening? Uh... Who we got here? Oh, we just got some... That's not too bad. We got some goblins. And I have this cool... Uh, this might be a little, a little tricky to see what's going on. Oh, did we just... Did we just... Wow, we just, we just bodied them. Okay, I'm into it. Got some goblin horns. Uh, they started it. That's, that was on them. Um... But yeah, basically, you know, I'm, I'm controlling myself here. I'm controlling my character, but I can order my pawns around a certain degree, and uh, they'll uh, they'll they'll do some stuff. So I can I can say help, come help me, help me over here. I don't actually need help that much. I was just demonstrating, and I can say go get out of here, go forward. Uh, and what's cool is the pawns will they'll <laughs> they will notice things around them in the world, like they will point out treasure or uh, enemies. Occasionally, they will just you know, this wax, wax philosophical, maybe tell you a, you know, a tidbit of information about the world. Uh, but then if they go into other people's games, they will bring back information from what they experienced over there. What's Bob saying? Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me only after a day and a half, half a day of service. I actually just, uh, I just fired a guy named Jeff who I was working with, who I wasn't, I wasn't happy with his, uh, with his, his warrioring. Wow, we're... What is going on here? There's a lot happening. Did we get him? What is that? There's some kind of... Uh... Okay, so that health bar up there is something I maybe don't want to mess with. The goblins I'm fine with. What did we... What is this? Is it a... Is it a ghost? I don't think it's a ghost. What, okay. They set that on fire, whatever that was. Miasmite. Interesting. 
What? What? Is oh, okay, 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 okay. So we're already running into, I believe that's a Cyclops. Uh, a little hard to see, but he's, he's, he's there. He's a big, he's a big guy. I'm actually, I think, I think the, the display I'm looking at is maybe... Oh, did that do anything to him? I've got... Okay, that just blew, blew up in my face, quite literally. Now, maybe not the right time to eat just a potato. I'm trying to use a little bit of, a little bit of a potion here. Now, the thing I really love about uh, Dragon's Dogma is climbing the monsters. They've got, I'm just trying to get up this dude's, okay, I'm kind of in a weird spot on him right now. Okay, he's roaming up, he's getting there. Gotta get up on his back, I'm gonna stab him in the head. I'm going to put some dynamite on him. Knocked me back a little bit. Maybe not the most graceful way to take him down. I think we got this guy. Is he down? Is he down? Oh. Quite a lot happening. See, so yeah, the, the fights get really hectic, and there's a there's a level of chaos to these games that I really appreciate. You know, a lot of a lot of action RPGs are all about sort of, uh, you know, pr uh, precision boss encounters and just and uh, you know perfectly timed parries and all that. And this is uh, a kind of just about rolling with the punches in, in the right uh, the right spots and really knowing when to improvise. What is happening? Okay, I'm trying to get up this dude's leg. Ah! Come here. I'm gonna put dynamite in his head. He did not like that. That's extremely effective, though. And luckily, I have a... Hell yeah. Yeah, I've got one of my pawns is casting, uh, casting spells to protect me a little bit. He's still, he's still going. This dude is... Come on, up, 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 up. Where's his face? <laughs> if I can get up to his eye, I would love to stab him there. I think that's a good spot to stab. Just, you know, based on what I know about Cyclopses. Ah! Go, 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 go! Get out of the way! So I used up all my stamina there and got a little bit tuckered out. Nice. I don't want to put dynamite right there. I don't think he would like that either. Get on his head! Oh, did I put it in the ground? Ah, man. All right, there. My, my pawns are doing a good job today. They're really, yes! Did we get it? Did we get him? Nice. All right, we leveled up. We beat up a Cyclops. Uh, one of my one of my pawns actually had a quest of her own, which was to defeat a Cyclops. So uh, we got to help her with her homework assignment. So now that things are a little bit less chaotic, I can sort of show off exactly how I did that. Uh, first of all, I, uh, I, I relied on the help from my friends, uh, but also I have some pretty cool abilities. I'm playing as the Thief vocation, which is uh, melee focused, but all about kind of speed and uh, dashing around. I have like a little little dash thing right here. Uh, I have like twin daggers, and then I have let's see, where are my where are my special abilities? Um, by hitting one of the sh bumper buttons, I I can do powder charge, where I just put a little little bit of dynamite on the ground. I don't know if it's. Di I feel like dynamite is not a, a properly fantastical description of this, but then um, this is a. Uh, it's not a timed thing. It's a. It, you have to trigger it, which is 
uh, kind of tricky to figure out sometimes. Uh, and then I also have uh, Biting Wind, which just has me zipping around and stabbing every which way. Um, that, uh, that Cyclops is very dead. I don't need to do that. Ooh, Rugged Bones. A misshapen eye. Nasty. Uh, and then, of course, I have this. I, one of my favorite things to use. It's more effective on smaller enemies, but I have this sort of grappling hook. Uh, what is it called? Ensnare. And I can also set my knives on fire and uh, do stuff with that, which is pretty cool. What is... There's a little there's a little exclamation point. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, just me as my... So yeah, there's a little exclamation point on my map, which is something my pawns picked out. That could have been the, the Cyclops that we just dealt with. I'm not sure. So yeah, uh, the, the, the fights can be really hectic. They can just be, they can, like a lot can happen and it's, it's fun. It's, what, what, what is that, a dead pig? The music's, uh, the music's amping up, so something's happening. Oh, hey, what's, what's up, man? So I just uh, set my knives on fire. Yeah. So nighttime is a little bit tricky to navigate. Uh, let's deal with these goblins and maybe try to find a place to set up set up camp. Oh, I've got a, a golden trove beetle. Okay, so we're gonna head a little bit further into the dark here. Uh, I am kind of, I'm, I'm really just figuring out where I'm going. What is that? There's a little light in the distance there. Oh, there's a bridge. I could very easily have walked straight off that bridge and found myself in not the great, greatest spot. Who's this? Hey, what's going on? So I could hire her. What is she, level 12? Sure, you're new. You can, uh, who, who's gonna get out of here? We're gonna get rid of one of my other pawns. We're gonna get rid of Angel. She did her homework, she got her quest sorted. Uh, and we're gonna bring this other new one onto, on board. Now, you can, you can basically give items to your pawns when you dismiss them and they take them back to their, their realm. And then, uh, you know, you could theoretically give them something nice, but I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to give her a rotten horse bud. All right, have a nice rotten potato, but I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a thumbs up. I'll give you, rate you five stars. Have fun out there. All right, so here's my, here's my new friend, Morgana, who's gonna, who's just been roaming, roaming the realm, just kind of meandering around in the dark. Uh, she seems like she's got her act together. Now, I should probably... What is happening? Something's growling at me. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? You know what? I don't really want to deal with these guys. I kind of want to just go find a place to camp out. So we are going to tell my friends to come on, come with me. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, are we already to where our quest marker was? We are already here, but I don't know if I'm... I don't know. I'm kind of missing some health there. That little gray spot on my health bar down there, uh, that is... Ah! What the hell, man? Did I get him? I got him. What are we missing here? So yeah, that little circle on my map, that's uh, that's where we're trying to go. Hopefully there's something, there's like a spot to rest before that. What is this? Is this a dock? So yeah, again, it is not exactly the best idea to go wandering around in the dark because you can fall into a hole and sprain your ankle or die, whichever. Uh, which is really, that's true of, um, of real life as well. Is this a campsite here? I can't tell. It's too dark. Three boxes. So I am checking out this quest right here. It's basically, it's killing monsters. Uh, I, I, one of the dudes back at uh, uh, Vermouth, Ver, Vermund, I forget what it's called, uh, Vernworth, uh, sent me to kind of just, just go just go be at a good arisen, go do some cleanup, go, go take care of some... So monsters, uh, you've been given three tasks to cull the goblins at Trevo Mine, northwest of Vernworth. That's where we are right now. To aid the soldiers dispatched to cull Saurians in Harvey Village, west of Vernworth. I already did that one. And to locate the soldiers tasked with delivering freight on Vermont's eastern edge. Which, wait, did I do that one? Maybe I didn't do that one. There's a lot of monsters. There's a lot of stuff to take care of. So this is just one, uh, one little portion of this whole just series of side quests. Um, there's also much more complicated, uh, just political intrigue going on. There's a uh, there's a, a false sovereign. There's a, a fake politician, and to deal with that, I've got to put on a masquerade costume and sneak into a ball. There's also uh, 
a dude who's locked up in jail who I'm supposed to try to break out of jail, but he doesn't want to break out of jail until I can find him a nice place to go where there's lots of books to read. Uh, there's <laughs> a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. I'm set. This is the priority quest. I found the goblin lair. Now I just need to find a nice place to settle down. And ah! The goblins have this like jump attack that is really, really vicious, and they will just fly at you. Uh, so it's important to just, you know, make sure they don't do that. There we go. And if an enemy is downed, they are considerably less of a threat. So we try to we try to make sure that we knock them down first and foremost. I see some I see some fire in the distance. Uh oh. Yeah, so this is I mean this is just common sense. You don't go don't go hiking uh in the dark because you could fall even if you have a little lantern on you. I hear pigs. Did we already come this way? I don't know if we did. Oh yeah, we totally did. Am I all turned around? Okay, so that's Trevor Mine. That's where I'm trying to go. Maybe I should have... I'm getting turned around. This is why you shouldn't go hiking in the dark. Now, one thing that's very tricky in Dragon's Dogma is fast travel is uh, not exactly the fastest, which is, you know, really a way of encouraging players to uh, engross themselves in the world and, you know, properly explore it. It is the whole point of an open world game is to explore the world, get out there, see some stuff. Uh, and so you have... Uh... Ooh, a Saurian. Yeah, so you can ride ox carts, which are, as the name suggests, not exactly the fastest. Uh, and then you have... Sorry, there's also uh, these things called fairy stones, which are prohibitively expensive. It's kind of like, do you want to take the bus or do you want to do you want to call a ride share? And, uh, you know, one's expensive and the other is <laughs> unreliable. So that's kind of where we're at here. Uh, I love that the Saurians will, like, lose their tails when you're fighting them. Like real, like real lizards, you know, because I fight giant lizards here. And do we clear these guys out of here? I'm gonna blow this guy up. Just sends him flying. Boom. Luckily, my explosions don't really hurt me too much. I think they do a tiny bit, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it because I'm a, I'm a renegade like that. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm, I'm not maybe the best tour guide possible because I'm lost, but uh, the, <laughs> welcome, welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2. This, as, I, as I showed you on the map, this is my first time exploring this area, so I'm kind of not making this up as I go along, but uh, something along those lines. And again, Turned around. Oh, a treasure chest, though. This is nice. What do we got? Do we need to take a nap? We might need to take a nap. Ah! What? What was that? What? Was that just a Saurian? Okay. We're gonna go west, and then north a little bit. Oh! Maybe we don't want to hang out in these guys' house. This is their nest. They have, like, eggs everywhere. Come on, hello, hello, to me, help me, help me, help me. I call my, call my pawns to come save me. Get out of here, get out of the lizard cave. Run, run. Sometimes you just gotta run away. That's, that's a, that's a, a valid uh, strategy. Okay, so again, back where we were, we fought some uh, some saurians, we fought some goblins, we fought a cyclops. A treasure chest? Here? In this economy? What do we got? Oh, gross. It's full of teeth. <laughs> okay. Why did they put those there? Who, who left those there and why? Okay, so if you're just tuning in, we've been checking out Dragon's Dogma 2, and if you like what you see so far, you can play the game today on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. Uh, now, uh, without any further ado, oh, I love this. So, Something I really do appreciate in Dragon's Dogma is you can uh, pick up basically anything. These are explosive barrels, so when you pick those up, uh, they, they explode when you throw them, which is, you know, a fun video gamey thing. But you can also just pick your friends up and throw them. Uh, I was trying to get her up there. That didn't pan out so hot. Uh, but we're in, this, uh, we're in this mysterious mine. 
I think we're gonna go and check it out further. Is this the mine right here? Oh my, oh mine. This is it, I think. Did we do it? We did it, okay. We're unlikely to find any warm hearths down here. Well, I was hoping to find a place to camp out. Oh, I guess I didn't need to lay that dynamite. <laughs> I keep meaning to do the grappling hook and uh, uh, not doing it. <laughs> so yeah, if you throw a boulder at a goblin, he does not like that. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, so he got one of the explosive barrels. That was pretty cool. We just did a little, little one-two hit there. You get him? See, I do I do love that it's it's not I don't know, it is it is a multiplayer system pretty much unlike anything else you'll find in RPGs. And it's it was a phenomenal novelty when the first game came out and there really hasn't been much else like it and then the second one is just doubling down on it and uh, it's a good time. It's, I'm glad that it's still a thing. Here we are in the cave. The mines. Oh, I like Bob. He's doing a good job. Thanks, Bob. We're mopping the floor with these guys. I think I might be a little bit high level for this. Ooh, nice. Uh, a little bit high level for this particular quest, but that's fine with me. Uh, so vocations, yeah, they're they're like your class, your job, uh, and you level them up. And uh, as you as you do that, you uh, you know get new abilities. Uh, and there's also there are a couple of vocations I haven't opened up yet. There's actually a, kind of a bunch of them in this game, so you get sort of uh, hybrid ones later on. Uh, the one I kind of have, have my eye on is Warfarer, which lets you basically uh, kind of kind of just do any. You can be any you, any uh, any class. Like you can uh, use skills and perks from whatever vocation. So you get to sort of uh, you don't have to pick a major essentially. Uh oh. Okay. So. Uh oh. No. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Are we gonna? Ah, uh, so Robin's down. She just, she just got a promotion. What are you doing? So yeah, I, I revived Robin. She was down. Uh, that is just a thing you have, periodically have to do. It honestly feels like uh, assisting a teammate in a multiplayer game. Uh, eventually, they can die. Uh, but, you know, you just kind of get in there and uh, bring them back to life. If you're in the middle of things and you can't, uh, revive them then and there. You can pick them up and just run for it, which is kind of funny. What is up here? Oh, methinks we can move this boulder if we work together. I'm curious about this. Oh! Okay, so that would have been fun if I'd gotten to that when there were goblins down there. I did not do that, though. Oh, I'm getting scolded by Morgana. Okay, well, come on, let's go. Yeah, the pawns will just, they'll just, they'll get chatty. They love to, they love to tell you what's up, what they're thinking, how they feel about things. Uh, they are not shy about that sort of thing. Who are you? Uh oh, do we have a little... There we go. Whoa! Did I just high five her? There's a lot of little surprises in here. There's a lot. Of, there's there's things that uh, it's very much one of those games where you will learn about secrets from other people playing. It has that sort of playground playground logic. So we are at uh, Trevo Mines, where there is a uh, an infestation of goblins, as you know, fantasy mines are prone to uh, have. And we're going to clear them out, and then we're going to head back to Vernworth, and I'm going to check in with my pal, who's like the sheriff over there. And, uh, what's going on over here? Oh boy, this is a whole room full of go- Uh-oh. Oh, oh hoo -hoo, I don't know what this guy's deal is. I don't like him. Is he a problem? He might be a problem. Um, so yeah, this is kind of your, kind of your, uh, your typical, uh, monster slang. We will 
head out into the larger open world in a little bit, but I wanted to get over here and just kind of check something off my uh, to-do list. So I'm playing, uh-oh, playing a dangerous game here, straying from my pawns. I really am spamming that dynamite attack too much, and it's, I, don't, I don't care because it's fun. It's really fun to do that. A lot of treasure up here. What do we got? Did I see a chest? There's a chest. What do we got? What is it? What is it? What's in the box? Ooh, tights. Oh, but now those tights are too heavy. Now, I, uh, now I'm running a, bit, a little bit slowly. It's because, you know, you got the whole the weight. There's weight stuff in this to worry about. Uh, so I should probably just give a bunch of my pants and spare uh, fish and things to my pawns. Forgive me if I do not jump for joy. Man, Morgana is sassy. She really just has like lots of strong feelings about things. Yeah. So the, uh, the ore I just scooped up is for crafting and for upgrades, stuff like that. Uh, I have upgraded my weapons a little bit, but... There's definitely a long ways to go there. Um, I've consulted some uh, some guides, and the one piece of advice is to to not go, uh, not go and spend all your money in the first area you get to. Which, uh, oops, I already did that. Um, but I wanted to have some cool daggers to run in here and do some do some fighting. Ooh, is this? So this way is the area we haven't been to yet. I think. Unless I'm lost again. Who's this? What's going on? Where am I? Who are you? Here we go. All right. Okay. So I'm. I have too much stuff on my person. I need to. Uh, I need to give somebody else my pants. Rangers tights. Oh. Oh heavens. Uh, you know what? Morgana can have those. And uh, let's see. Give these to uh, Robin and. Uh, Yeah, so as you can see, there's that little bar there uh, that says I'm currently, I have average weight, which is fine. That means that I don't use too much stamina when I move around. If I'm carrying way too much stuff, I will just trudge along and it'll be super hard to, to move and... Ah! Oh! Dude! So I'm on fire. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Maybe I go over here and this... One of these orbs, these healing areas. Yeah, I, t I totally just high five my pawn. I, I have I've played this game for eight hours and I had not caught that before, so that's that's fun to see. What do we got in here? What kind of treasures await? Ooh, okay, so the two-hander, I believe, yes. So uh, I think it's, I forget what, cla what vocation it is. There's a vocation that is basically um, sort of the evolution of the warrior class. The warrior class is your standard like sword and shield. The Upgraded version, or the one the one above that, I I forget what it's called. Uh, I want to say it's a, a barbarian type thing where you can use two-handed weapons. Ah! All right. Uh, but yeah, so once we get back to Vernworth, I can theoretically uh, change vocations and try out that great sword if I am so inclined. Uh, I kind of want to do some ranged combat, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Beast skin? Okay, we're getting all turned around in this mine here. Morgana, will you heal me? So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as I sort of pointed out earlier, my health is... Your, your health will get basically worn down. So the green is the most I can have my health refilled until I go take a nap, basically. If I go to an inn or uh, camp and rest and eat a pork chop or a, a steak... Uh, what have you, have a nice snack. Uh, I have to basically go and... What do we got here? Oh, a door. I really hope there's not a giant boss at the end of this because I'm in kind of rough shape and I was really just, I was really just looking for a place to sit down. Uh, but I found myself in a terrifying mine. Oh! doing that. There we go. Thanks, Bob. You got it. Bob's got it covered. Oh, what have we here? 
So we're making our way deep into the mine. Who's this? Is this an actual campsite? Oh, friends. Lend us your aid, we're in your debt. Yeah, man. I have been fighting goblins for 20 minutes. What do you want? I pray let me pay, repay the favor. Okay, uh, please, if you have gold or treasure, I would like some, I would like to have it. There are NPCs scattered throughout the world. Sometimes you see someone in the wild and they are, they are a pawn that you can enlist, and sometimes they are, you know, quest givers or, uh, you know, folks milling around. Um, I think I was supposed to find these guys. I think they were sort of the ones I was trying to rescue. Uh, there are, I've, I've sort of been checking in with other people playing this game at IGN, and oh, yes, the light at the end of the proverbial tunnel, get me out of here, I want to get out of here, it is daylight, let me go, I'm so, look at that little flip I can do, isn't it great, let me out, oh my god, please, yes, thank you, oh, okay, here we are, and we turn the ladder down, we did it, I think I cleared the goblins out, they probably were like, you didn't clear enough goblins, you know what, screw it, we're gonna get out of here. Let's take it. Let's take a nice look. Let's actually let's let's look at this. Look at this. Look at that. You see that off in the distance there? I think that's a griffin. We should probably not hang out up here if he makes us into lunch. All right. Well, now we're uh, we're out in the wild. We get to actually properly go hiking without getting uh, ambushed in the dark by goblins repeatedly. Actually, that's not true. That's still going to happen. Uh, the air beneath the earth is stifling. I would agree. I would heartily agree. <laughs> Verily, forsooth, I doth not protest. Well, oh, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> a robin landed it. Oh, come on, wolves? Wolves after jumping off a cliff? No, <laughs> no, I don't want to deal with wolves right now. Go, 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 come on. Come help me, friends, my pawns, my darlings, my sweetie pies, where are you? I really, I seriously just would like to find a place to camp out. Where, where the heck are we? We are out, uh, way over here. Where are we? Okay, so we went all the way through this tunnel under here. This mine. We're gonna follow the road. The road, as the saying goes, all roads lead to Grand Seren. Well, that's actually what they said in the last one. This is a different part of this universe. What is that over there? Is that harpies? I'm all tougher. Ah! Oh! No! 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 Okay. Eat the, drink the, drink the juice. Drink the juice, dude, come on. Drink it. Okay, I'm good. That's as, most, as much juice as I can drink. Come on, let's, we're not gonna fight wolves right now. We're just, we're just trying to get away from these bullies. Everything is going sideways. Hopefully the wolves and the harpies and the goblins all take care of each other. We will make it their problem. I wanna, I wanna find, I wanna find a real big monster to fight. I would love to find a good, a good griffin or some such. Yeah, too much sprinting. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Little campfire over here. I think this is a place we can. Ah! Go, 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 go. Robin, hurry. Let's go. Morgana, Bob, get in the car. We're running. We're going. Who's this? Cass, I'm attentive and loyal. I prefer to remember. Oh, should we hire you? Level two. Get out of here. No, thank you. Who's shouting at us? So Cass did not join our party because uh, he's uh, underqualified for the position. Did we get them all? Surely some more goblins. That harpy is still giving us a hard time. Can I do something? Can I do something cool over here? Can I just... I just want to rip the harpy out of the sky. Oh my god! Dude! Okay, that's uh... That guy's probably dead. Uh, the harpy is singing to me right now, which is uh, nice normally, but I'm probably gonna fall asleep if I'm not careful. Get over here. There we go. Get down from there. What is that? What is that? I haven't seen that thing yet. Sha! Yeah! I don't know what that is. I think it might be a, a 
I gotta go save Robin. Oh! Ooh, this is a tough guy. We get it? Yeah, we got it. That's... Robin, wake up! I like these guys just over here in the corner, just hanging out, just talking, chatting. All right, Danzig is level 13. That's a good number for Danzig. Can I sleep here? Oh, thank God. Okay. Yes, we're gonna do a little bit of camping now. And now we're gonna check out one of the most impressive parts of this entire game. We're gonna cook. What should we make? Scrag of beast, dried meat, exquisite dried meat. An aged scrag of beast. Okay, check this out. Look at this. Look at that meat. Look at that meat. That is the prettiest meat in any video game I've ever seen. Is it, li is it actually live action meat? I can't tell. It might be, it might be a video of real meat. I'm, I, I'm honestly not sure at this point. But it's like, this is the, this is the RE engine. Like, this, they, things have been very realistic. It happens. It's still, it's still, it's nice looking meat. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so we are well rested. Bob has, what is, ha what the, what is happening? Who are you? Is it just goblins? Okay, I didn't really clear out the goblins over here properly, so that's, that's on me. We're all, luckily we're all just like amped up on coffee, which is first thing in the morning. We are just ready for this. Uh, these folks. Robin's 13 now, too. Treasure. Now we got some treasure in here. An oxhide hood. Should I put that on? I'm going to try that on. Let's see if I got a new outfit there. Yes, that's a pretty major upgrade. And I look uh, scary. Oh, sweet. So this is, uh, here's a rift stone. The Rift Stone is where you hire new pawns, which is really where you get um, a lot of them. But uh, if you're just now joining us, we have been slaying some monsters in Dragon's Dogma 2, getting lost in caves, uh, getting in all sorts of scrapes and scrambles. Dragon's Dogma 2 is available right now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to continue to play this. Uh, so this, this is a Rift Stone. This is how you basically... Uh, this is a job fair for pawns. This is where you, you go into this other dimension, uh, or a parallel reality or world or whatever, and it will... Uh, you'll get a whole bunch of other people's pawns that you can hire. And if they are your level or lower, that is, they are available at no extra cost. But if they are very powerful, they kind of cost you some money. So, Shehab, Sakura, Joker, Zoe. Uh, it's important to have a good kind of balanced, uh, balanced party. You want people of different classes. Robin is my pawn and she is an archer. Who is Lady? Gandalf. That's not Gandalf. Catherine. Mint. Mal. Okay, there's a, there's some, you know, different people here, different folks. Uh, I think we could use another mage, maybe another warrior. Okay, let's hi let's hire Mint. What's up? How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Hire. You're 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 hired. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Morgana. She had she just was too sassy. She had too much color commentary. What was going on? But I will give her. A potato. Fare thee well, madam. Enjoy the potato in uh, your other realm. So basically, you uh, yeah, you can you can uh, take your your departing pawns, the uh, your your formerly hired pawns, and uh, send them back to their realm with, uh, you know, a, a gift, a little treat for their uh, for their for their a master, I guess. Their arisen, uh, Yoko. No, we don't want to hire her. We'll, well, the band will break up. Uh, lady. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been I've been <laughs> kind of horrible, and I've just been uh, Bob is Bob is cool. Bob's you know we, we can stick with Bob. I've been kind of horrible, and I've just been um, j just giving people like rotten potatoes and old fish and stuff like that, which I think is funny uh, because it is. And if you weren't supposed to do it, they wouldn't let you do it in the game. And if uh, maybe someday I'll give a, a nice present to uh, one of the pawns that I engage with. Is that a... Okay, is the harpy in fighting an ox? 
Did we just, wow, okay, we're getting nice and nice and powerful here. So that little, let's see where we are in regards to a quest, in relation to a quest marker. We want to go down, down here. We're going to go all the way down south along this road here. This might be a bit of a hike, but we're going to try to get down there and see what happens. Ah! So I'm basically doing, uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm just doing uh, cleanup, doing some, oh, well, not doing a great job apparently, um, but pretty much just going around and fighting some monsters, doing some monster culling, uh, because that was, uh, that was requested of me by uh, a pal down, uh, down, downtown, down in the... Yes, that's good. We like that. Thank you. Now, this is something I really love about this game, that you can climb stuff. You can climb monsters, but you can also climb oxes! Yeehaw! All right, this will get us. Uh, this will get us where we're going faster. This is a great. So okay, no, that doesn't help at all. I was going to say that's a great solution that will help us really get out and about in the world, and no, that's not happening whatsoever. Oh no, that's so. If you're, if <laughs> whoa! All right, <laughs> sorry. There are things in this game that are scripted, but there's also a lot of stuff that happens in this game that is completely emergent and totally random, and that is something I find very appealing. Uh, it's also something that will uh, make everyone have uh, very different experiences. Sort of among the, among the folks at IGN who've been playing this game and comparing notes, uh, a few of the people who've, who've beaten it have seen very different stuff along the way. What is that? Uh... I have not encountered one of these beasts before. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a breather. You guys just go go ahead without me. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! So he's got uh, three three life bars. What is that? Are they making a dent at all? Yeah, a little bit. We're doing okay. I can just hang back here. I think it's not very nice, but I could. Okay. Okay. That's not doing so hot there. What? Is that a Minotaur? Oh boy, we might be in bad shape. Let's actually get out of here, folks. Let's go, come on. To me, my pawns. Run! Are we just gonna leave Robin? Get Robin! Don't... Oh, this is bad. So yeah, that... Robin! Go, 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 go. Please don't shoot me right now. I don't need that. Let's go! Run, 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 run! Run! That is, I don't know what animal that is. Is that a minotaur? Ogre? It's cool looking, whatever it is. I could climb up there and put dynamite on his head. I could do it. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. What are we doing here anyway? Oh, whoa. We're doing okay. I think we might be able to take this guy down. The more of the pawns that climb up on top, the, the harder it's going to be for this guy to uh, to get up when he's down. Uh oh, my stamina is running low though. I need some help. Mint, help me out here. All right, we are getting recharged. I don't know who's doing that lightning thing, but I appreciate their hard work. Oh, no! So that charge attack is, oof, brutal. Robin, wake up, what are you doing? Please, 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 please don't shoot me. Okay, I got this guy down to... I think we got this, I think we're gonna do just fine here. Whoa! Whoa! I love the climbing. I love it. It's the best. What is even happening right now? We are okay. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. Arisen, are you all right? This was your idea, dude. 
Why would you suggest doing this? Get up there! If there was friendly fire in this game, we would all be so screwed. Thankfully, not an issue. Go! Blow it up! Yes! Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I have not used that enough. That is a uh, fi fire blade attack. What is that? Enkindled blades. And I'm, I need to chill because I'm running out of stamina. I'm actually real tired. Oh boy, and I need to eat something. With a salubrious draft. Is he tired? We got him, we got him, this is fine, this is great. Yes! We believed in ourselves and we overcame adversity using the power of friendship and teamwork the whole time. What did we kill? Ring of gallantry, hell yeah, jewelry. Oh, it was a minute, it was, I mean, I, 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 I probably, I thought it was a minotaur, but it could have been some, you know, exotic variant of a minotaur, I don't know. Lots of stuff. I'm also probably very uh, heavy now. Oh, is that a campfire? Do we need to rest? Probably not. I think we're okay, actually. Though I would like to watch more uh, photorealistic, possibly actual photographic video of uh, meat. Great work, everybody. Keep up the keep up the awesome job, Bob, Mint, Robin. You're doing you're doing awesome there. Where are these people? Are these? Sometimes you just run across people and they're they're just regular people hanging out. What's up, guys? Oh, they're rude. Okay. You know what I say to rude people? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm I know that that's some people are probably that's not funny. It's funny. I think it's funny. I like throwing people. So yeah, uh this is again, this is a very very small portion of this game. In this in this time we've been playing, I've gone from here up here, through here, around here, down this way, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. That's just a teeny bit of it. And there's also lots of caves and stuff hidden away that we don't see. And I just took a wrong turn again. I'm actually, I, have a, I feel like I have a pretty good sense of direction in real life, but apparently not so much. What is that noise? Who's growling? Should I worry? What is it? I'm I'm genuinely curious right now. This is this is like this is why I, I like open world games. Is when you just hear you hear something and you're like, what's that noise? What could it possibly be? What is that? What is that? What is it? What the, what is that? A blob? Ah, it's a very high level blob. Is this dangerous? It's definitely not a good thing that... Okay, I think we got this. It's... What was it? What the... F what? Greenish slime. Well, if it looks like a minotaur, it's probably minotaur. And if it, it looks like greenish slime, it's probably greenish slime. I should have just believed in my... This is generally used as a material. Thanks, Bob. So yeah, the, uh, in the first game, the pawns were uh, very chatty, and I feel like they had they had a handful of lines that they would just kind of spout constantly. And they, I think they tweaked that. They they nerfed the chatter in uh, in Dark Arisen, which is sort of the uh, the next gen bump that the first game got last gen. And in this one, the pawns are honestly I'm hearing I'm hearing them say stuff that um, is genuinely helpful. They feel much more well rounded. Which way to the petting zoo? I don't want to be mean to the rabbit. I'm going to put the rabbit down. There you go, bud. Hop along now. Ah! <laughs> All right. I'm I'm at that I'm at that point where I'm like I'm like level up enough that it's it's a good time. I'm not constantly getting just stomped. Uh, one thing you can do is if you save up your your uh, your rift bucks, uh, your your pawn hiring currency. 
you can hire pawns that are way above your level. So you could theoretically hire a pawn that is really, really high level, and, uh, you know, they can just carry you. And it's like having, you know, uh, having a pal protect you throughout the game. So this is this uh, is one sort of corner of the of the the world that you'll explore, and the there's another whole chunk of it where it gets into like desert desert lands, and there's you know whole different sorts of animals. But there's also a, a lighthouse. There's also a sort of non non human uh, species that uh, don't necessarily like dealing with humans. What's going on down here? I love this is like this is my. This is why I play video games. I just love to see what's down in the basement. I'm not, I'm not, I'm only like half kidding about that. I really, I just love that little bit of exploration. Oh, there it is. So I once heard it explained that like the, the, the hook of a good open world game is not so much just exploration. Did you open the box for me? How dare you? Get out of here. Get out of here. That's mine. Rude. Uh, it's not so much just exploration. It's also discovery. Like there has to be something... It can't just be that there's a cave behind the waterfall. There has to be something in the cave. That's the key thing. And uh, this game is pretty good about that. This is this is the cave. Oh, there it is. There's a cave down there. Okay, so I've got to go down in the hole. Stormwind Cave. You always know a cave is going to be totally safe and sound if it's uh, cool looking. I totally missed that cave. Okay, we got some big rocks. Gonna take the rock down here. We're gonna throw it at these guys. <laughs> Cannonball! Come over here. I didn't do anything. Did that work? They hate it when I do that. This one simple trick that will make Saurians mad. There are areas of the game where you can uh, you can get stuff by just throwing throwing your pawns uh, up to up to chests and things. Up we go. Now we are going to go and see what's at the see what's at the end of this cave. We're going to fight whatever's waiting for us. I'm guessing probably Saurians. Uh ah. And we'll put some dynamite right here. Come on. Ah. No! Oh, oh, okay. That could have been a bigger fall. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Fall back and I will heal you with my magic. Magics. I will have one of my salubrious drafts, or perhaps my sugary drink. I keep, I don't know why I keep doing this, I keep meaning to do, I keep meaning to do a different attack, and I, uh... Okay, I think we got some of them. Is this the light at the end of the tunnel? What do we got here? Going further, further up. I have too much stuff. I'm carrying too much gold ore and... All right, we rescued the soldiers. We did our thing. We got $3,500. What is up here? Captain Brandt. We gotta go see our friend. We're gonna go outside the tunnel, I hope. Leave this place. What? It keeps going. Ah! Nope, already did my part. I'm out of here. Thank you very much for your time. Ooh, there's lots of gold here. I want to. I need to come back here. Alas, we are running short on time, so I should probably just call it a day. Maybe I, there's a treasure chest. I want to see what's in there. My guy is tuckered out. He 
He's tuckered out from all this running and jumping. I don't think that's a comfortable uh, thing to wear on your face in a cave. I feel like that just makes it harder to see. Probably even darker. Go! Come on, everybody. Let's go up here. Where's the exit? <laughs> I love d uh, dynamic, dramatic video game music. It lets you know that there are uh, wolves or dinosaur men trying to kill you. Oh, is this... Is this the way out? Cool! Oh, nice! So a fairy stone is the means of fast traveling, uh, or one of them. And uh, that's, uh, that's handy, because I think I have to head back to uh, Vernworth and... Let's see if I can get, let's see if I can get back there. And I am out of here. I love his little flip. I love that he's carrying just like 40 pounds of just minotaur horns and meat and stuff. And he still can just do a little flip. You didn't do the flip. What's up, man? You did underestimate me. Yes, please. I would like uh, recommend commendations. Can I have a treasure? No treasure? No! Oh, whoa! What? What? What was that? That was, uh... Man, that is like just slasher movie logic. Everything's fine, and then... Ha! Alright, we did... <laughs> what? What was that? I missed one? Uh, this is... This is nothing. We barely scratched the surface of what you can do in Dragon's Dogma 2. It is an enormous world. Uh, I'm going to keep playing this. This is my file. I'm very excited to play more of this. You can also play more of this. The game is available today on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. It's out there. Check it out. And if you get stuck, IGN has tons of guides. And if you want to figure out what's going on, there is a wonderful video narrated by the great Ian McShane teaching you all about the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. Thank you so much for joining me, hanging out, watching my shenanigans, uh, and hopefully rooting for me, or rolling your eyes at me getting uh, knocked about the map by uh, Saurians and Minotaurs and all that. Uh, for everything Dragon's Dogma 2, keep it right here on IGN. Uh, well met, good sirs and ma'ams.